Morning, this is Breakfast with Ben Thompson and Rachel Burden. Good morning, it is Sunday the 8th of April. Dozens of people are reported to have been killed in what activists say was a chemical attack on the city of Douma. Peter Kay has appeared on stage for the first time since cancelling all future work projects. Front page of the Mail on Sunday also leads with a story about uh, violence in London. Theresa May is Home Secretary. Of now time for a look at the weather. We've dragged Simon King into the studio with us this morning, which is just lovely. So I hope you've got the weather to treat us with, then, <laughs> Simon. Morning. I know, yeah. it's very good. Yeah. Very different to the weather in the Gold Coast at the moment. We'll be Hinder. back with Mike um, just after half past six. And those are the main news stories uh, for you this morning. However, loads of sport to discuss from yesterday and, of course, continuing sport to discuss from yesterday and, of course, continuing through the night and into today. So much, uh, Mike. As I mentioned earlier, Scotland's winning in the lawn bowls earlier on today was so far a Commonwealth Games highlight. Yeah, I think we also need a colour chart for Mike's tan. <laughs> Aggressively getting more and more tan. It's going to be like a Dulux colour. On breakfast this morning. Yeah, but if you want to head somewhere warmer, uh, it's time for maybe some ideas from the travel show this morning. We'll be back with the headlines at seven. Well, our political correspondent Susanna Mendonca joins us now from our London newsroom at Morning Susanna. It's an interesting intervention from Anne Barad. How do you think that's going to go down? One man has died and four firefighters have been injured in a fire at Trump Tower. The British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has stepped up his criticism of Russia in the wake of the poisoning of a former Russian spy living in the UK. German authorities say a man who drove a van into people outside a restaurant in the city of Munster was a German citizen. Brazil's former president, Lula da Silva, has surrendered to police to begin serving a 12-year sentence for corruption. Um, we know that trying to solve this terrible problem will take many, many different um, strategies. They are also looking at a review of stop and search powers involving a public consultation and that will be key to this all is but thank you very much for your time your thoughts this morning Simon Harding a You're criminologist um, in our London studio this morning. Uh, what is the weather doing outside this Sunday? Simon has the details. Good morning to you both. Yesterday was a pretty decent day across the southeast of England. 19.4 degrees Celsius. Uh, now, not many Bollywood stars can claim that they got the acting bug by watching Coronation Street with their mum. It's a really lovely story. It's a great though, yeah. story, yeah. Uh, the Andrew Marr programme is on BBC One at nine o'clock this morning. Uh, Andrew, what have you got on the show today? Andrew, this is where we say goodbye to viewers on BBC One. Bye-bye.